Let's talk about this. A record-breaking lottery jackpot is up for grabs in tonight's drawing. The Powerball prize jumps to a record $1.9 billion. That's almost $2 billion. While well, the odds of winning are very slim, there is a much higher likelihood that the eventual winner will actually lose the entire fortune in a few short years. That's crazy, but it's been called the lottery curse. Joining us right now with some advice, asset protection attorney and author of the book Love and Money and Margaret Carosa. Nice to have you back on Thank Good you. Day. So you've actually dealt with some lotto winners in the past, right? Yes. And yes. what what happened with them? So no amount of money is inexhaustible. Hmm. And I remember hearing Dr. Phil saying that money does not solve money problems. And it's true, if I am a financial train wreck and I can't manage $900, I will be equally unable to manage the 900 million lump sum payout. Okay, and I, I think that you've said that some of these people actually wound up poorer than what they started. They really did. And I think, you know, based on my research, I interviewed lottery winners uh, for the book and we need to come up with a plan ahead of the win. So everyone has one whole day today to come up <laughs> with, a, with a financial plan. Yes. I love this. You know, we gotta be pre prepared for anything. Because it could be one of us that wins. That's, that's a reality. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so what is the plan then? So we wanna deal with the IRS. Yeah. So the after tax earnings. Now we want to make sure that we're not out buying crazy toys mm. because when cousin Fred calls and he wants you to buy him a new boat, you're going to be in a better position if you didn't just go out and buy yourself a new boat. So really, but why should you? Why should why you? Gotta you go buy, yeah, why you got to buy cousin Fred a boat? <laughs> because everybody wants something. Everyone right? wants a piece. So what we need to do is legally protect ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I tell folks, put at least half into a trust. Yeah. That's gonna protect it from lawsuits. Yeah. Everyone in the world is going to sue you after the win. And it's going to protect from estate taxes. Mm -hmm. okay. You paid half in income taxes. Whatever's left at death, your kids are gonna pay 40% in estate taxes. So we want to legally protect it, then develop a group of advisors mm -hmm. to help grow it. Um, because yes. we want to deal with the situation, you know, what now? You want to continue to grow it, and then you want to responsibly share it. Okay, well, what about uh, if share you... It. Okay, yeah, Look that, at that, one went, that one went right over my head, because I was like, so if it. I win, I'm just gonna move to Switzerland or get, you know, a passport from Malta and take the money there. But do you know one of the common refrains from folks who lost it all is that they didn't feel they deserved it. And they mm. didn't feel they deserved it when they went out mm. wildly buying toys yeah. and didn't responsibly share it. So that's not buying Cousin Fred the boat. Responsibly sharing it is looking up uh, reputable 501c3 yeah. charities. So is there a lottery curse? I mean, make us feel better because the, our chances We're going to break that curse, Rosanna. <laughs> so I don't think it's a curse. I think we need to get our mind set straight and we need to have a few bullet points. Mm -hmm. But these bullet points, protecting it, growing it, and responsibly sharing it, can be used with any amount of money that sure. we have mm -hmm. to strengthen our relationship with our finances. Okay, so what happens if you win and you want to try to stay anonymous? You're saying that's almost impossible. In, in most states, uh, the rules are that you have to be public. That, why do they do that? Well, I, I think it's part of uh, the promotion for yeah. lottery. Each state, you know, wants your smiling face out there talking about how great the lottery is. <laughs> Would be a is. crying face after a couple of years when you lose it all. <laughs> but you do have control over when you come forward. Okay. So I think it would be a great idea to take a couple of weeks, yeah. meet with a, a team of trusted advisors. Oh, this is what you do, <laughs> Aunt Margaret, right? Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, you're watching a right here. Where can we find you, Aunt Margaret? MyElderLawAttorney.com. All right, so she's available. Good to know. <laughs> and we have obviously a pipeline, so it's very yeah, easy if That's fine. We're good. you win. There, no curse here. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you so much Thanks. for coming on. Good day. I appreciate All it. All right.